blown away, I'm near you. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. So for me, I have a severe... I can't hear you again. Okay, I have a severe problem with focus. That's my main um, That's thing. not a problem. Well, I well, guess. All right, I said it wrong. Yes. No, it's okay. We just want you to know that sometimes diffusion of focus is good because where you were focusing was not helpful. So it's actually almost like a smoke screen that your inner being is putting up to keep you from going down a path that you don't want. And so look at that as helpful guidance. It often is. Even when there's stupid thoughts that just, you just, I don't focus. I'm, I'm meditating and I'm really getting into it, you know. And then all of a sudden my mind wanders off to something stupid. Well, your mind doesn't wander off. There's something active that the meditation is revealing and then when you discover the thought that you are proclaiming is stupid and we're not disagreeing if it's something unwanted then connect those dots and say to yourself I had a marble in my bag when I sat down to meditate and now it's expressing itself in this way and now my decision is stronger than it was before to focus in a way that feels better okay I guess I can see that yeah we know that you know the answers to the questions that we're about to ask you. Otherwise, we wouldn't ask them. So just know that as we ask these questions that you do know the answers. And if you don't get to them as soon as we want you to, we'll guide you a little bit. But this is going to be a fun conversation. <laughs> so there's just a handful of things that we want to help you to focus on that will serve you enormously well. Because we don't agree with you. We think that you have an amazing ability to focus. And that, that amazing ability to focus is the reason that you often have split energy. Because you can look there and you can look there and you can look there and you can look there. So you're creating an unnecessary tug of war within yourself. So here are our questions. Does it make sense to you that you do have an inner being? Yes. And does it make sense to you that at the same moment that you are doing whatever focused or unfocused thing you're doing any moment in time that your inner being is right there with you in the experience focused in a very powerful helpful way yes does it make sense to you that because your inner being is focused in a powerful and beneficial way that if you don't you feel the stupidness of your thoughts or the wonkiness of your thoughts in other oh, words yeah. so is it accurate then to say is this the right way to put it because my inner being is so focused my lack of focus sticks out like a sore thumb oh my gosh yes <laughs> so therefore does it make sense to say my inner being is focused and I'm focused too my goal is to focus more in the direction of my inner being because that's the only way to take the fracture or the tug of war out of the situation another way that we've said that is if your inner being weren't so powerful in the love it feels for you or for others you couldn't even know what the feeling of hate is because it's the relationship between how your inner being, who you really are, feels and what you're focused on in this moment because of whatever influence that you've been... Th does that make sense to you? Yes. So, therefore, does it feel logical that since you know all of that, since you accept that you are two perspectives wanting to blend, that you have more ability to do that blending than you've been giving yourself credit? Ooh. That's true. Wow. So, just for a little while, when you do that thing you do where you're sort of beating up on yourself, <laughs> oh, yeah. like you just did when you sat down here, when you do that thing that you do, you didn't make that up. You learned that from other people who beat up on themselves and who beat up on you. You learned that from disapproving others. And it's the most normal thing in the world that you would learn it. But your inner being is not going to let you off the hook. Your inner being knows your value and your power and your worth. And your inner being is not going to think those thoughts. So when you do, you're always going to feel like that. Always. That's what your guidance system is about. So just for a few days, 
when you catch yourself in the middle of doing that, mm -hmm. just say, it's perfectly logical that I'm doing this. I don't have to do this. I might keep doing this. I don't really want to keep doing this. I might change to something better. I often do feel better. Just walk yourself easily. If you're watching a baby learning to walk, his first day really, and he gets up and he falls down and he gets up and he falls down, you don't say, get up you little dummy. <laughs> you know that that baby is going to find his balance eventually. And your inner being knows that about you too. And so when you're hard on yourself or others, because that's the way you're orient, there is so much meanness in your world right now with so many people feeling so much license to just say all the mean things that they're thinking about everyone, that if you're not standing in a pretty stable place, at a minimum, you're upset by their meanness. And at a maximum, you think they're mad at you and like you should do something different. And your inner beings, all of your inner beings, the inner beings of the people who are right now loving others, the inner beings of the people who are right now mocking others, the inner beings of the people who are insecure and that's why they're behaving the way they are, the inner beings of the people who are afraid and that's why they're acting the way they are, the inner beings of the people who are in love with life and that's why they're acting the way they are, all of those inner beings, not one of them is upset about anything that's going on. Not one inner being is saying, get up you little dummy. Every inner being is saying, you're figuring this out. Every inner being is saying, I so want you. Inner beings always say we, because we're always hooked together. Every inner being is saying, we know you're going to figure this out. We don't think you should have to croak to figure it out. And we'll help in any way we can by keeping the light on, keeping the vibe strong, and maybe you'll have a conversation someday in Boston where some things will click for you and maybe you'll have easier access to who you really are than before. But nothing serious going on here is what your inner being saying. There's nothing serious going on. Can't get it wrong and you're not ever gonna get it done. So you might as well just start having a little more fun and being a little nicer to yourself and everybody else and start sifting out those thoughts that just don't feel good. Don't try to catalog them and pigeonhole them about whether they're right or wrong or how they came about or what about is and well, you did that, so I did that. There's no ending to the trouble that those thoughts will cause you. Wow, I do think that. I think like, why am I thinking this? Where'd that come from? Makes just, no sense to me at all. It's just a habit of thought. And there's so many people carrying that bag of marbles around that it's real easy to hook up with it. In other words, you're walking into a lot of rooms where there's a lot of insecurity, so it's easy. But it's not easy for somebody who meditated and found alignment or who came here do you know what just happened to you in the last couple of segments as we were visiting with our leaking love friend? <laughs> Didn't you feel yourself shift into a new understanding? of how it all works and didn't you just for a moment sort of love everybody on the planet just for a minute no matter how stupid they are <laughs> yeah They're I'm not... actually a very happy go lucky we know you are excited we know you are if you weren't then you wouldn't be being so hard on yourself for those moments when you're not that way yeah we know that all right get out <laughs> This is a really good time for a segment of refreshment. I love it. I love it. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next